One of the most shocking revelations in the aftermath of Epstein's arrest and death was his connection to Leon Black, a billionaire investor and one of Deutsche Bank's most important clients. Black is the founder and CEO of Apollo Global Management, one of the largest private equity firms in the world, with over $400 billion in assets under management. Black met Epstein in the late 1990s, when Epstein was still a close associate of Les Wexner, the founder of L Brands and Victoria's Secret. Black and Epstein shared a passion for art collecting, and Epstein claimed to have expertise in tax and estate planning. Black hired Epstein as a personal advisor and paid him at least $50 million for his services between 2012 and 2017, according to documents reviewed by the New York Times. This was after Epstein had pleaded guilty in 2008 to soliciting prostitution from a teenage girl and had registered as a sex offender. Most of Epstein's former clients and friends had cut ties with him, but Black remained loyal. He invited Epstein to his family events, visited his homes in New York and Palm Beach, and flew on his private jet. Black also wired millions of dollars to entities controlled by Epstein, such as a company that managed his jet, a charitable foundation that he used to make donations to universities and scientists, and another company that he used to buy art. Some of these payments raised red flags at Deutsche Bank which had taken over Epstein's accounts after J.P. Morgan Chase had dropped him as a client. Black has said that he was unaware of Epstein's criminal activities and that he regretted having any involvement with him. He has also said that he ended his relationship with Epstein in 2018 because of a fee dispute. Black is currently cooperating with an investigation by the Virgin Islands government into Epstein's estate and businesses. The relationship between Black and Epstein raises serious questions about how one of the most powerful and respected figures on Wall Street could overlook the glaring evidence of Epstein's predatory behavior, and why he continued to pay him millions of dollars for dubious advice. It also exposes how Deutsche Bank failed to prevent or report suspicious transactions by one of its most prominent customers.